My name is Slack Boss. I am a gamer. Question is, what do you do? Welcome to the first episode of Slack's Challenge. This episode is very special. I'm doing a game called Cider Arcade. Now the reason why this is special is because this is a throwback style game to the 80s and 90s shooters, space shooters, and the reason why, another reason why it's so special is because of LGR. I'm doing this game first because this has definitely got that retro feel to it, and it's because of him why I'm doing this now. So, Clint, thanks a lot, man. Now, uh, I do have it set on the wrong mode here, but as you can see, you can kind of go through different modes and really give it that old school feel, which I thought was really cool, but I'm going to play in modern. By the way, game is developed by Studio Evil. Um, don't know what much else they've currently done yet, but anyways, I'm really liking this game. They really did a really good job, and you've got multiple... Um, story missions here for you to do in campaign which I thought was definitely kept your options open um, unfortunately only three ships to choose from but that's alright I do like the looks of these ships because they do have that real spaceship you know futuristic feel to it um, a lot of games unfortunately have been missing that lately but they're getting more into it. Now you do have like your average ship, you know, as you see, average armor, speed is really good. Uh, this is your more, you know, mediocre, sorry. This is my favorite, the tank style ship. Tons of armor and the weapons are incredible on this sucker. So we're going to give this one a shot right here. Now luckily, only a few keys you got to watch out for, which is your arrow keys, space bar, X and Z. X and Z fire your weapon. Spacebar changes your direction. And of course, arrow keys control your direction. Now, you'll see what I mean by the spacebar changes direction in a second. This was a really cool idea. Now, I'm not sure if another game has done this before, but I'm sure it probably has. So, let's give it a shot. Yeah. Okay, changing directions, and there you go. Like I said, I'm not sure if a game has done this yet, but I do like that in this genre here. That's a really cool concept, being able to flip your aircraft. Now, I especially like the uh, radar there in the upper left-hand corner. It really shows you what you're looking at. Oops, I forgot the fire key for a second there. Got to catch up. And, of course, you've got all your upgrades, just like any other of those original shooters. And then, your special weapon. Which just wrecks everything. Now, each ship has its own special weapon. They're each very different. This one's just my favorite because of that big meteor wipeout that you can do. And, like I said, more armor and stuff like that, so it really gives it a real brickish handleish feel. That's the type of character I play in even RPGs. I like to be the big tankish, orcish, oafish guy that just takes tons and tons of damage. Whether he deals it out or not, he's a pain to deal with. So yeah. And it looks great. I really love the color palettes that they chose here. Really, really good colors. I love the sound effect. The music is where it's really at. I love the music. A total, true, hardcore throwback, but it has a more modern feel to it. And they just did so great with that. Anyways, uh, give you more information about it. You can actually purchase the game right now from Studio Evil. Uh, current price point is uh, $7.99, which, personally, I think that's not too bad for if you're into retro games, the hours of enjoyment you'll definitely get out of it. Um, I mainly go by hours with my price points, you know. It's like, you know, the more the more hours you can get for the money, the better for me for the most part. I mean, gameplay does play a serious factor, and this does have good gameplay. But I could see you easily squeezing seven to eight hours of gameplay out of it. You know, even if you're not a hardcore retro player, you know, just for the challenge boards and stuff like that. And that pretty much equals out to about a dollar an hour, which 
to me is actually pretty good compared to most games are actually charging you anywhere between seven to ten dollars an hour of gameplay for the game so definitely not a bad deal now another good part about this though is on their website you can actually download the demo for this game so you don't have to take my word for it you can actually try it yourself and it's totally for free for the de for the demo and you know just make your own decision whether it's worth it or not try it out if you like it purchase it you know if you don't you're not out any money whatsoever and I do like when games allow demos so again not only can you watch a review on it or anything like that but you can also try it and make up your own mind whether it's worth trying or not so anyways this was pretty much it yeah I'm gonna try and put that link down in the bottom for you for it uh, definitely check it out they did a great job with this game with all the throwback and everything and all the fun that I am having with it because I am just having tons and tons of fun uh, just to let you know if you are wondering what Slack's challenge actually technically means it's more of a first impressions video than an actual review so yeah this isn't a true review it kinda is but it kinda isn't it's mainly because I've put you know a couple hours already into it so I've cheated a little bit but anyways yeah LGR for you man I hope you enjoyed it and everyone else out there I hope you enjoyed it too if you liked it please subscribe I actually have a lot more content coming thanks to LGR and a lot of other people and just tons and tons of you know people just putting forward putting faith in me and helping me out and I hope you enjoy it because I certainly did everybody take care